everyone, it's Missy. So I went to the Family Dollar store today and I was trying to do a deal. I ended up doing the 5 off $25 deal. I didn't find enough to do uh, the 20 off of $75, but I'm just going to break it down for you. Um, the two boxes of Lucky Charms cereal that you see is $4.25 each. There's a $1 coupon when you buy two. The Raisin Bran Crunch is $3 and there's a $0.25 cent coupon that applies to that. The OxyClean packs are price dropped to $3.95. There's a $2 off coupon making it $1.95. The Palm Olive is $1.95. There's a dollar coupon off of that making it $0.95. Cents. The Always Maxi was $5.50 and there's a dollar coupon off making it $4.50. And then the Pons is $1.50 and the Three Musketeers was $1.00. All these items equal to $25.40, um, allowing me to get the 5 off of 25 And then my subtotal after all the digital coupons were applied was $15.15. .15. So that was the deal that I did. Now I'm going to kind of break it down and tell you how I shop Family Dollar um, to get a deal. Because I don't want to just buy stuff just to get the, 15, or the 20 off of 75 or the 15 off of 50 or whatever. Um, how I tackle the store is I first get the deals of the week. And the deals of the week are the Palm Olive and the OxyClean packs. So the OxyClean packs are originally $5 on the shelf. There's a price drop to $3.95 with the $2 coupon, it's $1.95. So you're essentially getting an item that was $5 for $1.95. These items are usually listed on the front page of the ad, so what I do is I go into the store, grab a flyer, and I get the deals of the week is what I like to call it, or the deals that bring people into the store. Next, I search for items that I want, or that I need, that are on my list. We are a big cereal family, and when there's coupons for those items, I'm always grabbing cereal. So the Two Lucky Charms and the Raisin Bran, my family, I know was going to eat this up. Um, so I don't have to worry about those items just sitting in my cupboard, all right? So the OxyClean and the Palm Olive are like my, for my stockpile because it's good deals. The cereal I'm getting because I need it. Same with the Always Pads, I needed that. So we are going to get um, a coupon on that too. I'm going to pick it up, especially when I need it. And I'll change out the brand I, names. I only get the brands that have coupons or some kind of discount with them the week that I need them. Now what I do next is I actually go to the clearance section and see if there's anything that I can use as a filler item, something that has coupons tied to it preferably. I did find some Crest toothpaste on clearance for $3 a box and there was a dollar off coupon, but I also take the time to think, okay, do I really need this item in my stockpile or should I get something else? So I, I just take my time and go through the clearance aisle and there's some valentine clearance if it's after the holiday there's some valentine clearance and here is a clip of what was at my store So as you can see, I didn't pick up any Valentine clearance items just because I didn't need anything from there. They didn't have any greeting cards or anything that I was looking for or was interested in to um, add to my stockpile for next year's Valentine holiday. And they really didn't have any clearance items in my store at all. Um, so what I do is I add up everything in my cart and everything that I needed and wanted was $20, $22.90. Meaning I needed $2.10 more of an item to get that 5 off 25. Um, now I'm not going to just skip it and say well I'm just going to add the coupons that apply to these items I'm going to pay $17.65 and leave the store. Because that extra $5 means I can get like a couple more items basically free. And that's why I ended up get, grabbing that Pons for the $1.50 and the candy bar for a dollar. So I'm adding $2.50 ensuring that I get my $25 worth and getting that five off of 25 because like I said I could have paid seventeen sixty five for the stuff that I needed wanted that shopping trip but because I bought those two extra items I was able to get my total down to fifteen dollars and fifteen cents before tax um, I know it sounds kinda crazy it's like well I need to buy extra items to save more yes <laughs> and that's basically how it works just a few extra items 
Um, so I always kind of have my eye on any dollar items, if they have a dollar aisle. Family Dollar doesn't really do that as much as Dollar General. Um, but that's how I tackle a store. I mean, I would sure love to hear your tips and tricks for doing that, so please leave me a comment below. And if you have any questions, also feel free to leave me a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everyone, and have fun shopping. Bye.